What is going on YouTube? It's Green Stuff Studios coming at you again with a brand new conversion project. This time we're making it Keeper of Secrets. But since we're cool people, of course we're not using a uh, Keeper of Secrets. We're using a Vermin Lord that I'm throwing pieces of on the screen. This is what a Vermin Lord looks like when it's completed and 3D modeled. It's a rat demon guy thing. And uh, first let's talk shit about the model. This model is not my favorite. The pose is weird. The feet are really fucked up. And he's standing on his sword staff thing. He's got a tail that just asks to be broken. I mean it's... Ugh. No, not a fan. Anyway. But we're still using it, because why the fuck not? So, I have glued together the legs and the torso. Uh, pose very squished together for for the upper body. The abs and the, in general the musculature is <laughs> really weird. Uh, so we won't be using that. Uh, we're going to cut it in half, pretty much. Get rid of the upper body and only use the bottom. Uh, I was, I'm talking here about me extending the thighs, I won't do that, but uh, I might do that, or I thought I would. And then I congratulated myself on uh, using a model, model covered in fur to make a model that won't use fur. <laughs> oh shit, uh, and this is the hand we're using to grab a sword. And the sword, I will cut off this weird sword and add one with plastic card instead, because we're cool people, that's what we do. 3 millimeter thick, I believe. A little thicker than I use for basic infantry. The left hand. Oh, no, wait, that's the right hand. For the right hand, uh, we're gonna use this knife ha holding thing hand. Yes. Uh, we are gonna change the angle of the thing he's holding because we're gonna he's gonna be holding a living whip here and the idea was that it would coil and be caught in his finger in a way it won't be in the future, but when I recorded this, I thought it would. Uh, horns. The, this is one of the things I really like about this model. The, it has really, really cool horns. So we're gonna pack as many horns as we can into it. In this case, two of these really large ones, two mid ones, and two small ones that I won't be using in the beginning, but I will add them later on. Uh, oh yeah, and this model... Uh, Inspiration comes from the original John Diaz demonets, or oh, well, not original, like third generation demonets, I, I believe. But they're some of my favorite models. Uh, I think I, my, the main things I like about them are the faces and the tentacle hair. I think that's just, they're really cool. And those details are my favorite. And those are the things I really miss with the new demonet models, which I think are just a train wreck. Uh, this are, these are my sketches. I won't... Well, we'll, we'll compare this, the uh, compare the final results with this, but we're... I was going for three eyes, six horns, some sort of claws, hands, whip, a sword, uh, one arm, uh, <laughs> one leg on the ground, one in the air, uh, tentacle hair. This is sort of ten tentacles just poking straight out to see where they would start. And some, like, a. Uh, Pose kind of like the Forge World team, uh, Keeper of Secrets. But this is where we're at right now, so we best get started. Okay, it's a couple of days into the project. The uh, legs have uh, had all the fur filed, scraped off. They've been cut apart and then put together uh, with a metal skeleton that is inside what we're looking at right now. It's metal wire that's been uh, an, with aluminum wire, wire coiled around it to give it some more for the clay to adhere to. There, in the mid part there is also aluminum foil since aluminum foil is a bit more lightweight and easy to shape so that's the absolute mid part. The thickest parts of the body, so not the arms of course. Um, yeah, It's been uh, multiple, uh, th this has also had multiple layers of uh, Millet pot on top of it. This is just not one session. Uh, in the back, we got two bumps that kind of look like boobs. They are, of course, not boobs. They are where the extra arms will uh, be. 
eventually so uh, but i'll drill into them and put magnets there also magnets in the wrists so we can fit uh, hands on top of it and in the neck of course this is all for easy transportation as for the feet this foot i've drilled into well drill, drill into the foot three times put some metal wire there and then put millipot on top of it the foot it's standing on has a copper wire 1.5 millimeter that's through uh, most of the foot i mean it's a large foot the ball of the foot is way up there and then we get two smaller wires that are just from uh, there are not as far up but they're just for stability so it won't slide around and of course millipot on top of that as well and the idea is that this uh, I will make this thicker and put some magnets into it and that way we can uh, attach it to the base uh, without it stumbling around and make for easy transportation uh, now let's see the other parts here yeah here's uh, the whip hand and the sword hand they also have magnets in the wrists the horns have been glued together and we got a first generation face that will be removed later but let's pretend that that's what it won't be right now and these are the secondary arms the claw arms talon arms they're uh, well they're not perfect right now but they'll get there now they're just flopping around all over the place uh, so far I'm very happy with it I think it's what I'm talking about right now I can't hear myself talking Uh, well, we still get the get to replace the sword and put uh, some sort of a uh, whip in this hand. And we need, I need to come up with what I'm doing for these. I uh, haven't decided at this point. I might use uh, some horns, or uh, I might just sculpt with more millipart, or I might do some sort of more uh, spear or sword like thing in plastic card. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Well, I'm sure right now as I'm doing this voiceover, but back then I wasn't. Um, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I had uh, one thing I had was a little bit worried was that the torso is very long and it's very flat. It's gonna be hard to add curvature to the back. So we'll see if I manage to get that going. I mean, the demonettes of John Diaz are have very curved back. That was kind of a natural, but yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Yo. Yeah. Fuck, wrong language. Try, let's try that again. Okay, this is where we're at. Uh, magnets all in place. Boobs also all in place. Uh, I'm kind of happy with the millipot this time. You can't really see it due to my shitty camera or usage of the camera. The camera is good, my handling is shit. But it's, they look pretty smooth. This, now it also has a little bit of butt and I'm still worried about it being flat and the back being also really flat and not curved as I've been talking about before I'm like a broken record that way but fuck it we'll make it work somehow uh, I uh, have made this little thing thingamajing it's six millimeters of plastic card with a magnet in the middle to try uh, this is the first time I'm using this magnet so and the first time I'm using a large model with it so I'm not sure how many magnets I need so I made this prototype to see if, if like could I use one magnet do I need five ten I wasn't sure so this is one magnet and it stands okay it's not that smooth against the surface uh, and it uh, comes off rather easily uh, in a minute now it comes off rather easily yeah there we go it comes off so uh, I'm going for, in the end, I will use three magnets, which will work fine. Uh, the whip is uh, metal wire with aluminum wire, co wire coiled around it and then millipot on top of that. The handle is just plastic cord and I drilled straight through and put the plastic cord uh, tube inside the hand. Sword, I drew the sword, cut it out, glued it on top of my plastic cord and cut around the paper which is a good way to make a nice large sword like this. It's hard to just freehand with a knife. Uh, decided to use Milliput for the extra claws. Try to make him look a bit like the claws of the actual Keeper of Secrets. 
with the layered armor, crab-ish thing. As you can tell, they're not flopping around as much anymore. Big win. And that's the head, still looking the same. And uh, that's all the millipat and grunt work done. Uh, it's time to start detail sculpting. The good part. Let's do it. Alright. So this is where we're at right now. A little bit of detail done. Uh, for As for the sword, I managed to break the things sticking out here. So I replaced them and I will discard that later. Because as you can see, it looks really shitty. But it will look better later. So don't, don't worry about that. Uh, we also... What? Oh yeah. Start experimenting with this. I will also discard that. But it was a good attempt. Uh, head. I try, made an attempt at as well. Didn't like it. Discarded it. Tried again. Did actually try to sculpt a little bit with Milliput. And I realized that Milliput can be quite nice. Uh, and uh, it, most importantly, it uh, encouraged, it inspired me to try working with a Milliput green stuff mix. Which turned out to be real fucking great to make muscles. Like the muscles here of the neck and the upper body uh, look really good. The lower part with green stuff, not so much. Spoilers will be discarded. And I also removed all the boobs because uh, they were a bit too high up when I added the next stuff. So we'll be re sculpted in a bit. So a lot of things has been done since the last little clip. Uh, the front sculpted, back, belly, butt, thighs, the feet. All in the green stuff milliput mix. This stuff is... I don't know, is, is it a game changer? It might just might be a game changer. Big fan. The head, done-ish, not ju maybe the, just the face, but I needed to add uh, more horns, so that's where they came on. And where I removed detail, it was hard to re-sculpt the, the horn underneath, so I added stuff. This is where the sword's at. I removed the crap from last clip, as I said. Uh, made claws, also green stuff, milliput mix. Uh, for, as for the whip, remove the coil aluminum part, uh, wire, and uh, the milliput, and straighten it out, put green stuff on top of it, let it cure for two hours, and then bent it into this shape by using my hands wearing gloves, so I wouldn't put fingerprints on it. Oh, it's hard when your voiceover starts to lag, lag behind the actual video. Okay, and uh, this is where we're at right now. It's starting to look like a actual model can sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel uh, uh, but you're not dead of course you just you're making a demon cool really cool I like it a bonus material you can put the hands into the back and since <laughs> the back part kind of looks like boobs it's like it's has fighting boobs <laughs> which is dumb but also kind of funny <laughs> But no wait, this is the best part. This is the best part. <laughs> you put the claws on the hands. <laughs> it looks so dumb. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so since uh, last scene, uh, lots of stuff's been done. The front, uh, more sculpting on the front, the arms, almost done. At least the upper arm and shoulder are getting there. And. Uh, the camera focuses here. It now actually has nipples and a belly button piercing. Some more muscles in the back. And uh, this brand new base that is actually thinner than I planned for it to be. It's only four millimeters instead of six. It has three magnets. And uh, since I prepared, spoilers, I didn't. Uh, I was gonna take a while to get them in place show you that it actually needs uh, three magnets are fine it stays in place the head is done now has some facial piercings lip rings eyebrow piercing like a classy lady should slots in real nice swords got a bit more decoration so it's not that old plain still need some work on the wrist for it to stay put the claws, they actually stay put now because I added more muscle to the side here that is just made up muscle that, oh, it's not in, <laughs> it's, you can't see it, but it helps them stay in place so they don't wobble around anymore, as I show right there. The main problem right now is the whip. Uh, if I, I can actually have it in camera. Uh, the whip uh, 
if I shake the model a little bit, the whip is uh, too heavy, it uh, falls off. And uh, the whip I have done multiple iterations. The first iteration was just taking thin uh, strips of uh, green stuff metal putt mix and put curling them around the main whip. But I wasn't really a big fan, it was too haphazard, so I tried making these, which is metal wire with green stuff uh, around it that I waited for it to cure for a couple of hours and then coiled it around the main whip. Did not go that well, as you, but that was mainly because the green stuff was still too soft when I bent it, so it just got all messed up. So I did it a, a second time with just uh, two extra whip parts. But So it, it kind of looks good, but it's way too heavy. So I'm gonna have to redo it once more. So I'm tearing this shit off and we'll see where I end up. All right, we are officially getting there. Current status, very close to done. A uh, lot of stuff's been done too. Start from the bottom. Tayboard, the board, cloth. Uh, made by, uh, first I cut a piece of paper. It's not here anymore, rest in peace paper. Uh, into the general shape and cut it down more and more until I got a fit that I kind of liked. I put, a clay mix on top of some baking paper and flatten it out, shaped it to be the shape of the paper that uh, I had uh, cut, waited for it to set for a couple of hours and then while it was still barely soft pushed it in place here and waited for it to dry completely so it hardened. Then sculpted this uh, these folds and creases on top. Turned out pretty good. Of course attached with uh, pair strings into the skin because that's what we do when we're slanesh. Slanesh? Oh, you, you get it. Uh, we got, oh you can actually see it in the camera, we got uh, nipple piercings. One, two, three, that's a ring and these are barbells. Also got this little thing, uh, just a soul stone attached with a ring through the skin. Uh, the arms are done. In the end, uh, I had uh, these large clay formations at the ends to make the hands not wobble around. And the hands are also quite large for the model. You don't really notice that, but they are. So I made this armor that is similar to the claw armor. I made it in the same way, so that it sort of stays on theme. Attached with another piercing through the skin on the inside of the arm, save for both arms. And uh, since I, these were kind of like the largest part of the miniature, I uh, thought it was weird that the arms or the lower arms are the smaller, uh, the largest part. I also added a shoulder blade attached in the, oh, not a shoulder blade, a shoulder guard attached in the same way to bulk the rest of the miniature out a little bit. Also uh, scaling along uh, the spine, just for some extra detail. I think it looks really cool. And uh, cut off part of the butt and re-sculpted um, this to put a mock of slanish there. Sword, little more stuff sculpted onto it, just some more decoration. I think it's finally done, but I, that's what I've thought the last like week and I still keep adding stuff, so. but I think I'm done. Uh, the claws, just added some minor detailing to them, evened out some details. I've, I've, I've been thinking that these are done too, but I find myself, I, I find that I keep adding more stuff to them. But they should be done now. Head still the same as last time. Uh, everything stays in place. And finally, the whip. This is the final result for the whip. I just, you know, went with a simple solution you know kiss keep it simple stupid just added like some looks kind of like scales or thorns or something good enough good enough and now it leans against the foot and as you can see everything stays in place uh, it's e it can even uh, without stand without the magnets yeah, so we're almost done. There's just one thing left. Well, there's uh, some uh, parts that I just want to add some clay to make it a little more even and smooth. 
and I'm gonna give it a go to make tentacle hair coming out here at the back of the head and going over the shoulder so uh, we'll see how that turns out stay tuned okay so this is my first attempt at the hair trying to make it work I'm not a super big fan I mean it, it I don't know it doesn't flow naturally it just looks tacked on and I think it mostly because it just comes from the back of the head and not like from from the front not the front but like the forehead and behind the ears and like all the places where the horns are I also tried making a big braid and uh, I mean I kind of like the look but it's not perfect eh. I, I just decided less is more and uh, no no hair no hair at all and we are dee diddly done what's up this is where we ended up. And if you ask me, pretty fucking cool. Yeah. See, it's magnetized all the way. Oh, this, oh, the base. Yeah, I made the base. Made this in a very simple way. You see, I uh, put a piece of paper below this part that I already finished, put the magnets on, drew around it to mark where the magnets would be. Remove the magnets, took the paper and cut it out. Attach the magnets on the other side of the base and put the paper to make sure that it was all in the right place. Glued it in place. Remove the rest of remove the magnets and drill the holes where the paper holes were. Then I put milliput there. Added the magnets to the bottom of the foot thing, and then I squished it into the milliput, which is very good because milliput allows for a little bit of flex since not everything is straight and proper. So. Uh, works fine and as you can see it it stays in place it's very sturdy uh, what am I talking about now I don't know I can't hear myself uh, but I'm putting the head on okay very pleased with the head and uh, sword you've seen that before these claws I'm uh, no I watched just watch this I'm gonna fuck it up and <laughs> have to yep do 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 put them back on Usually they stick in place in a very good way. So here we're at uh, the slope of the back. I mean, uh, there's there's a pretty decent shape there. It's not all straight and flat. Uh, I think this is where I start talking about things I don't like. Oh yeah, uh, the one foot is a lot larger than the other foot, and uh, the torso, like the boobs part, is sort of leaned to the side. So one of the sides of the torso is larger than the other. Other than that, I mean, I think it's a pretty fucking cool model. It's a lot of things I'm very happy with. Like, um, the hips and the butt, I I just think it looks awesome. Like, with the scales in the back and the mark of Slanish. Super pleased with this. I mean, th this is some of my best work. I like the tabard. And the whip, I mean, it's, <laughs> it gets the job done. Sword looks cool. It looks very Slanish. Slanish, fuck, I should learn how to pronounce that. Uh, these, uh, the armor parts, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna use that in the future. And I'm also very pleased with the face. It's like, it's... It's demonic, it's sinister. I, it's exactly what I w wanted, you know? It, pretty fucking great. So, uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, this clip is a lot longer. I don't remember what I talked about, but I think, oh yeah, I was, <laughs> I brought my light box to show that it didn't fit my light box. So I'm gonna have to work on this in the future for when I make big monsters. Because I got a lot of more monsters coming in. Like my plan is, uh, I have like at least four, six models <laughs> in the, of this size, like at the, the planning stage. So if you like big monsters, we're gonna have a good time together. I think I'm even gonna show you some of the stuff lying around my desk. Yep, it's a wing. You might recognize that model. And it's a torso. You might not recognize that. Or maybe you do. We'll see. I don't know. And we've reached the final part of the video. It's the spinning part where I usually spin the model in the light box. But since it was too large for the light box, it's in front of a sheet. And I realize, I, pff, I'm not sure this was a good idea. I mean, you can see the top of the sheet. I'm such a fucking professional. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, that you will watch my future videos.
because if you do, I might try and put more of an effort into them. <laughs> okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.